Welcome back to another edition of Tool Tuesday, where I show you the products I use in my shop to do it mo better. Um, and today's going to be a little bit different, more of a kind of a showdown between two products um, that I haven't used in the past, but I have used bits from both Wera and Vessel. Um, love both of these brands' screwdrivers. I think I give Vessel the edge in a, in a, in a just based on my own um, opinion. And I wanted to kind of bring in some more bits um, into my shop. You know, I have this kind of hodgepodge, I'm sure all of us do, of like random Phillips bits, um, random holders, got some Milwaukee Shockwave stuff they sent me for free at some point. I don't really know where all this stuff comes from. Um, and just wanted to kind of get a kit that, you know, you can throw in the pocket and take with you to a service call um, or just have something that's more complete. Um, so let's get down to these two products. Um, just a quick overview. The Vessel is actually, these are impact sockets. They come with an impact holder. This where a bit check is not impact rated. Um, that's not a huge issue for me. I actually find myself driving screws with a screwdriver. I love this tool. Maybe I'll do a version of this. I mean, just the M12 screwdriver. I bought this to get free batteries and a charger, honestly. And I use this tool more than probably anything other than my M12 Impact. So anyways, I'm a Milwaukee fanboy, but, um, you know, say what you will. They make great tools. Uh, so let me get into these bits. Um, let's do a little unboxing here. I actually haven't ever really looked at either of these kits um, other than for the purpose of making this. So um, this vessel unit comes in nice, nice packaging. I really like this. Um, has two levels. I think a little hard to separate, but eh, what are we doing here? Well, that doesn't look good. Maybe I'm just, um, I blame me, not Vessel on that one. Um, but yeah, we get two levels there. Um, you got the bit holder in here, which you have to separate the levels to then push it out. Um, so let's pull that out. Um, and really nice bits. Let me see if I can get these on camera here. Nothing to be unexpected from Vessel. I mean, these are super nice. Um, get some Phillips, some slotted. Um, something I don't like about this kit, you know, you get one Phillips 2, um, you get one Torx 25. Things you use a lot of, there's only one. It is a complete set. I mean, you got like basically all your hex um, in both Imperial and Metric. Uh, you got your Robertson squares over here, which is nice. Um, three flatheads, which is probably more than anyone will ever need. Um, so it is a complete set, but you know, especially for an impact set, I'd like to have more of the, kind of the stuff we're using all the time. Um, but, you know, maybe pairing this with, you know, a small uh, bit driver uh, is better than kind of using these as impacts. I know they sell kind of five packs of these bits. Um, I actually have a Phillips 3 on the, on the table here, so let's grab that and kind of give it a test. Um, so first impressions of this bit holder is it is garbage. <laughs> Honestly, that's really sloppy. Um, I don't know if that's intended for some purpose, but I mean, that thing's all over the place. Um, so I probably would suggest Vessel upgrades this bit driver. They actually have a bit driver with these, this kind of torsion ball technology. I don't really, you know, I'm not going to pretend I know precisely what that is. Um, but I'm surprised that this thing is kind of funky compared to the quality of the bits. Um, the bits do fit really nice. Maybe that isn't a Phillips 3. I think that's a Phillips. Oh, I got a pause drive there. That's why. It's got the Phillips 3. That's a nice fit on that screw. It falls off, but you know, it's nice. I'm sure you could magnetize. Let's put it in the magnet holder and see how it goes. Yeah, a little weak, but um, you know, that's not a great test of this. It's really impact this into a wall or something, but um, you know, those fit really smooth. There's very little backlash in that, much less than I'd get from, you know, kind of hardware store brands. Um, so the bits look good. The holder doesn't look great. I like this case. Um, very compact, very nice to look at, um, you know, could easily fit in your pocket. Uh, so yeah, I think Vessel's done a good job here um, for this product. Uh, I picked these up on Amazon. I actually bought two of these because I thought maybe I got a faulty bit holder, um, but I will say that's more of a systematic problem because the two I've received have both had that issue. Um, so moving over to the Wera, um, I knew I wanted to try this out because one of my favorite bit drivers, bit holders is this. Um, which also has this same bit holder. And this thing's cool. Um, maybe I'll do a, another episode on this, um, but I knew this was a great bit holder and I wanted to see what I could get out of Wera for just their bits um, for my other, you know, six-sided hex applications. So here's the bit check. Um, you know, 
this feels pretty nice. Um, I know they have the tool check with the, you know, the little screwdriver and the little ratchet. That would be cool too. Um, these are really well built. I like that you can pull this out without having to kind of separate the two levels. If you just need the bit driver or the bit holder. Um, so let's grab the Phillips three here. Oh yeah, something nice about this set. Um, I don't know if you can see, um, you know, I think it's a lesser selection of bits than the vessel, um, even though we're getting the same number, um, I think. Yeah, we're getting the same number of bits in both of these. Um, but you are getting multiples of, of kind of important bits. You get three Phillips threes. Um, you're getting three Posa Drive twos. Or sorry, three Phillips twos, three Posa Drive twos. Um, your Torx, I don't really ever use these security Torx. I see those all the time in European tools. If someone could tell me why, maybe they're used all the time, or maybe these are meant for people working on electronics where they're used, I don't know. Um, looks like you're only getting some metric um, hex here. Not sure those are the hex plus from where, anyways. Uh, but anyways, you know, what's the worst case scenario? You take a few of these securities out, put some more hex or, or a few more uh, Torx in. Um, what I do like is, you know, you're getting more of the bits you use. You only get one flathead, which is fine. Um, notably, you aren't getting square tip um, on this if you if you do a lot of woodworking and, and work and work with Robinson screws. Um, so, you know, really cool. But I mean, proof's in the pudding here. Like the reason I bought this is to use in various, you know, screwdriver style applications. And this thing is so lovely. Um, these little holders aren't cheap on their own anyways. I think you know, between 20, 18 and like 20 bucks I've seen um, in various places. But I mean, that's super solid. Um, for point of comparison, let's make sure that, you know, this kind of wobbliness isn't due to this weird ball thing they got going on in the vessel unit. Um, so let's throw a vessel unit in there. Oh yeah, that's super solid. I mean, that would be a, maybe I'll keep them both. I mean, watchers from Garage Journal, this is classic kind of moment. Ah, just keep them both. You need more tools always. Uh, you never know what you're going to need. Um, don't tell my wife. But anyways, this is a really nice bit holder. I think it sets this, um, you know, I think it gives it the edge over the vessel units. I'll be honest with you. Um, I think you're going to get high quality bits either way. Um, obviously, these are rated for impact. So if you're buying impact bits, this is the one you're going to go to. These are not rated for impact. Um, but again, I'm kind of buying these more to use in something like this or, you know, bring in addition to this. Although this does have a little bit carousel, which is cool. Um, but sometimes you just need a little bit more. Um, so I was thinking of something kind of pocket that has all the bits I need. Um, kind of depends what I'm going to do. So I'm a bit torn between these two products. Um, you know, I think it would be pretty easy to say, take this vessel, pop this out. You know, let's test something. Will this fit in there? That would be kind of cool. Eh, not well. Eh, that would be cool. Could put that wear in there, have a little uh, mashup. What if I put, you know, I like these shockwave holders for impact bits. Does that guy fit in there? And that guy fits in there. So, you know, that's not a, what, couple bucks at Home Depot to buy one of those. Um, so you're going to get way better bits than buying a Milwaukee set, I'll tell you that. Um, so, yeah, these are really nice tools. Um, both sets run about 35 bucks. I think I got them on Amazon. Um, I think I'm going to give wear the edge on this if you're going to be using these in, in kind of hand driving applications, something like this. Um, obviously I would not recommend using these as impact bits, but you know, impact rated and being able to be used in a screwdriver is two different things too. So I think using something like this, um, you know, in this tool, it's going to, you know, you might really like that. So, um, you know, I don't know. It's, it depends a little bit what you're looking for. Um, but I just wanted to uh, show some tools that I've been considering adding to my uh, repertoire of having some pretty nice uh, driver bits. I'm getting tired of stripping out screws, um, building stuff around the house. So, um, yeah, so that's going to be, you know, it for this edition of Tool Tuesday. Um, I think these are pretty cool tools. Can't go wrong with either of them. Um, and I'll put some links in the description below where you can find these on Amazon or, or uh, KC Tool, I think, sells these. Um, these Vessel ones I've only seen on Amazon or, or maybe eBay. So have a look there. Um, both great tool brands, um, I think, are going to be a huge step up over the bits you'll find, you know, at your box stores. Um, but, you know, definitely two options depending on what you're looking for. I think a more complete set here um, with a pretty crappy bit holder that you could probably swap out. Um, versus what I think is a, you know, just a better refined package with a better bit holder um, and 
you know, this probably serves most of the use of, of what I'm going to use it for. So I think I'm leaning towards keeping this wear uh, in this showdown. So anyways, I'm going to leave you with that. Um, thanks for listening to this edition of Tool Tuesday. Um, a little bit of a showdown. Uh, if you feel differently about these tools or think, you know, there's another set of bits I should be considering, let me know in the comments below. Uh, look forward to interacting with you via that. Um, but thanks for watching me show you what I like to use to do it more better. And we will see you next Tuesday.